This lecture is brought to you by Megger, a leading manufacturer of electrical test and measurement equipment. I've trusted Megger's equipment for years and have witnessed firsthand their commitment to education and supporting technical schools across the country. For a limited time, Megger is offering my viewers an exclusive discount on their next purchase on products sold through U.S. distributors. Simply visit us.megger.com slash bigbadtech for all the details. This lecture features the Megger AVO835 Digital Multimeter. The AVO800 series multimeters are as reliable and accurate as the historical AVO units, but now come with a range of features to meet today's standards of electrical testing. For more information on the AVO800 series multimeters and other Megger products, please visit us.megger.com. Amps, volts, ohms, AVO. The Mega AVO Digital Multimeter is the one tool that does it all. The Mega AVO 835 Digital Multimeter, as the name implies, features multiple test and measurement functions integrated into a single portable package, including, but not limited to, DC and AC voltage and current measurement, resistance, temperature, phase sequence detection, and more. Today, we'll take a brief introductory tour of the Mega AVO 835 and briefly examine the resistance, continuity test, and conductance measurements functions. The AVO835 features a backlit display, function buttons, a rotating function dial, and selectively accessible terminals based upon the chosen function. To place the Mega AVO835 into ohm meter mode, rotate the function dial to the selection with the ohm symbol. We'll explore other functions and the function buttons in later lectures. In this position, the AVO835 allows access to the black common terminal and the red live terminal on the left, identified with an ohm symbol. Black lead into the black hole. Red lead into the red hole. An ohmmeter measures the resistance of an element in units of ohms placed between the two tips of the leads. The element under test must be depowered and isolated from the system. In the current configuration, the DMM displays OL, which is shorthand for over limit, indicating the resistance between two probes is too great to be measured, which implies an open circuit. This is the DMM's way of telling us there is no conductive path between the two probes. When I touch the probes together, resistance plummets, indicating the test leads present an extremely low resistance path. This is an excellent way of function testing the leads. Leads with a break would indicate an open circuit and would not be suitable for testing the resistance of other elements. Now that we're certain we've got a functional set of probes, let's test the resistance of some electrical components. Again, the element under test must be depowered and isolated from the system. Consider a resistor exhibiting the following four band color code, yellow, purple, brown, gold. See if you can use your understanding of the four band resistor color code to determine the nominal or nameplate resistance value for this resistor. By all means, pause the lecture and try this on your own. If you're tracking, you should have obtained the following value. Yellow, purple, brown, gold means four, seven, followed by one zero, meaning this resistor has a nominal or nameplate resistance of 470 ohms, plus or minus 5%, meaning it might actually be between 446.5 ohms and up to 493.5 ohms. Let's use the ohmmeter function to test if this resistor is inside its expected tolerance. When placed between the probes of the ohmmeter, the nominal 470 ohm resistor appears to have a resistance of 0.4624 kilo ohms, or more appropriately, 462.4 ohms. This is inside our expected range. You'll note the Mega AVO835 is auto-ranging, meaning it automatically picks the most appropriate range to obtain the most precise results. For this particular resistor, with a nominal value of 470 ohms, the AVO835 has chosen up to a 1 kilo ohm scale. The sliding analog scale points roughly at the middle of the 1 kilo ohm range. The sliding analog scale is a handy feature for quick resistance measurements. Should you deem it necessary, one can also override the auto ranging feature and manually range the meter by pressing the range function button. A user has the choice of the up to 100 ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohms, 100 kilo ohms, 1 mega ohm, 10 mega ohm, or 100 mega ohm scale. If you're using the up to 100 kilo ohm scale, the DMM displays 0.45 kilo ohms, whereas at the up to 100 scale, the DMM displays OL, meaning the element of the test is over the limit of the chosen scale. For most routine resistance measurements, normally the meter is kept in auto ranging mode. Let's now examine the auto continuity test function. On a very basic level, ohm meters are commonly employed to check the continuity of a circuit. Forget measuring resistance in units of ohms. Is something connected or is it not connected? Opens, i.e. items with no conductive path, would be identified with an OL on display. In contrast, items with a conductive path would be identified with a small resistance value on the display. Consider this length of wire. The ohmmeter indicates that this wire has an extremely low resistance value, implying it is contiguous with no breaks. 
Consider, however, this length of wire that's been subjected to some mechanical abuse. Is it still in one piece? Outwardly, it appears no different than our previous wire, and you might initially suspect it's fine. However, the ohmmeter reveals a dark secret that this wire is in fact broken inside the insulation, and no conductive path exists from end to end. Ohmmeter works for these types of checks, however, there's a better way to perform a continuity test. In addition to the numerical measurement of resistance, the AVO 835 offers an audible continuity test. In summary, if there's a connection, it beeps. If there's no connection, it doesn't beep. On a more sophisticated level, the AVO 835 emits a constant tone if the connection is below 5 ohms, and an intermittent tone for connections between 5 and 50 ohms, and no tone for connections above 50 ohms. To place the AVO 835 into audible continuity test mode, press the yellow mode button in the center while in ohmmeter mode. When the probes are separated, the DMM is silent. When I touch the probes together, the DMM produces an audible tone. The audible continuity test mode is pretty handy because you can check a continuity of a mess of wires without ever having to glance up and look at the screen and interpret numbers. Let's use the audible continuity tester to check the continuity of a circuit breaker, a type of heavy duty switch. With the circuit breaker open, the audible continuity tester remains silent. When I close the circuit breaker, the audible continuity tester indicates that continuity exists. The Mega AVO 835 additionally offers a conductance measurement in units of Siemens, where conductance is 1 over resistance, and 1 Siemen is 1 over 1 ohm. To place the AVO 835 into conductance measurement mode, rotate the selector switch to the ohm meter function and press the yellow mode button twice. Consider a series combination of two 10 mega ohm resistors, presenting a series of resistance of roughly 20 mega ohms. The conductance of this series circuit in units of Siemens would be 1 over 20 mega ohms, or roughly 50 nano Siemens. The AVO 835 in conductance measurement mode demonstrates this circuit actually has a conductance of roughly 50.7 nano Siemens, extremely close to the theoretical value. Lastly, I must remind you that resistance, continuity, and conductance measurements must be taken on a de-energized circuit. In the event the Mega AVO 835 detects a live circuit, the instrument will sound an audible pulse beep and flash voltage over limit on the display. This audible warning prevents an operator from damaging the instrument, the circuit, or themselves in the case of an errant energized circuit. Alright, that's about it for this brief introduction to the Mega AVO 835 digital multimeter and the ohmmeter, continuity test, and conductance measurement functions. We'll examine other functions and features of the CMM in later lectures. Thank you very much for your attention and interest. We'll see you again during the next lecture or series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource. Be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.